Today, I'm going to teach you all the tips and tricks about the first of stone. First off, how do we get a first of stone? For, you'll have to, I keep saying first, you'll have to build a build the firsts building that costs 400 stone, 140 prismarine, and then you can build the spawner, which is 400 redstone. And yes, almost every game you play where you have that amount of redstone, people will start slapping down redstone cannons. I know. But in this instance, if you can get a spawner down, then you're all set. It also costs 225 prismarine. Now, I want to mention that you can't you can't build this thing at the enemy base. You can't just go build one behind some tree line and then spawn a bunch and then kill your opponents. You have to build these at your base. And then once you have the spawner down, it's going to take 8 supply, 45 redstone, and 30 lapis. And, oh, I don't want to recall. <laughs> uh, this thing, these things are tanky as heck, and they are very powerful. They have a decent range. They're not really that useful against killing units because they're kind of slow at it so let's take this piglin here and let's tell it to, to attack it they have two attacks they have one where they throw a large boulder from the ground that they dig up and that does a splash damage attack but the splash is very small compared to the first of oak you see that that piglin well he dodged out of the way because he's like a little ninja but uh, this time got him all right and the range is okay but let's try to get some splash by hitting this one in the middle here let's see how big that splash radius really is all right, here we go, and boink. <laughs> so, uh, got a bunch of them there, but um, again, the first evoke has a better splash, a faster attack, and a longer range. So if you're going for units, go with the first evoke. Don't build the first of stone for units. These things are meant for killing structures. And let me show you. If Okay, let me just explain a little bit on unit damage, because it, it, it ramps up as the match goes on. The longer a match, the more damage units deal. And if you were to rush out one of these, they don't one-shot buildings right away. It takes like five or seven minutes until it ramps up to where they can one-shot most buildings. And when I say most buildings, I mean piglin buildings, but also player structures. So, uh, when we attack a player, or I'm sorry, a piglin structure here. Oh, and by the way, the First of Stone is a very tanky unit. He can take a massive amount of punishment. So there we go. The First of Stone is able to one-shot piglin structures. And you can collect the Prismarine. I'm already capped on it, though. Uh, they also have a melee attack, by the way. Uh, they do this little slam attack. And there you go. That'll kill some units. But another thing to note also is that there, and when they attack a building, they have a maximum or a minimum max range. So if I tell it to attack this building, it has to actually back up. Also, you can you can cancel it attacking by commanding it with the, the banner. But uh, if I have it right next to a building and tell it to attack it, it has to back up for just a little bit, not by a lot of range, to be able to target it. But yeah, these things are, they can take a hell of a beating. They are super tanky. One way to lazily farm a piglin base is to just put one in the middle, and it'll just start slamming buildings down while getting nuked, of course, which you don't want to do. But uh, this thing, it sometimes prioritizes buildings and sometimes it prioritizes units. But... <laughs> I might not live to, to show you how tanky this thing is. These things can take a massive amount of punishment, and the piglins will prioritize it over you. If you put one of these in a piglin base, all the piglins will attack it and ignore you, and there it, go it goes down. This thing can take about, like, 5 to 10 of these, like, missiles. They're nuts. But let me show you a more efficient way to farm. Uh, because you don't want to just build one to go farm piglins. That's silly, but... By the time you're, you build one of these, you're going to be good on Prismarine, I hope. But let me let me just show you the real basic way. You can gr grab like three or four of these guys. And this also applies to raiding an enemy base. I'll show you how to use this against an enemy base. In a normal game, you'll have about four of these. And what players do, they don't use them right. I'm going to show you how to use it properly. Now, when you use this menu, this is the command menu. If you hold right click, that or left click, I don't know what it is on controller, but if you hold the button down... It commands all of your units at once to do an action. But if you just tap the button, it commands only one of them. So what you want to do is when you're attacking buildings, you want to do them one at a time. So click, click, and click. So that's three. That's three buildings that we're going to nuke down immediately. Boom, and boom, and boom. So there you go. We can wipe out. <laughs> you have to recommand them or they're just going to sit there and uh, get exploded on. Also, another thing I just want to point out is you should bring a healer for these guys. And let me show you what I, might, what I mean by that. Get the Mossy Golem spawner, slap one down, and you're going to want like 
four. You're going to want one per. And, and they'll be able to heal you up. Not only will they heal you, but they'll heal your golems. But also, in a, in a real match, you don't want to roam around with these without protection. So you're going to want skeleton archers. Uh, you're going to want firsts of oak guarding you. So let's get four of these. And uh, just tell them to go there. And then they will start spraying water everywhere. And then that's going to heal your golems up. And make them as good as new. So let's take our uh, new party with us. And this is... This is just the smashing party. We can completely level this um, this piglin outpost if we want, but our healers will get nuked by the towers. So I want to show you how to properly raid an enemy base because these units, basically, each rock throw deals the damage of like one and a half to two creeper explosions. Uh, so if it's worth it more to you, just build creepers for the same purpose. Otherwise, build these guys. They're so much more efficient because they're super tanky. They're hard to deal with, but the only problem is, is that the enemy can see you coming with them. They show up on the mini-map. Or, not the mini-map, but the world map. There is no mini-map in this game. But the way to properly use this when you're leveling a base, don't do this. This is what players do. They, they, they find a wall, they tell it to attack, and then all of these guys are going to just run up. And then they're just going to throw rocks all at the same one. And then there you go. And, uh, well, in that case, it kind of worked out because it attacked the buildings behind it, which, um kind of extend the range a little bit, so that's a secret technique. But no, the real way you're supposed to do this is, again, the tap method. So you got you got your four bros, and uh, I guess our healers are just going to die, but whatever. So we're going to go kill a wall, kill wall, kill gate, kill tower. And now, we're going to deal a huge chunk of damage all at once. And look at that. So <laughs> We didn't quite kill the, ta uh, the gate, because gates take uh, two, two rocks. We'll go gate... Tower, wall, wall. And now, they'll do the work. Which, uh, that one attacked the skeleton, but, uh, these guys. And then, you know, if you're lazy and you, you want to go, like, gather or, you know, micromanage, then just... Oh, we got creepers and zombies coming, so let's, uh, let's get these guys to back up a bit. The other way to do it is to simply just tell them to charge. All you gotta do is be like, hey, hey, bros, just, just charge. And uh, what they'll do is they will attack move into the enemy base and just dumpster everything that they find as a threat. Most of the time they're going to prioritize units though, so like we got what? We got some zombies, we got some creepers approaching, and uh, there you go. See, it's not as efficient, but it's the lazy way to do it. Let's get them away from those creepers. They can tank the- they can absolutely tank the creepers. I'm going to tell them to- oh wait, no, no, don't. Don't attack. I want you guys to take damage. I'm going to tell them to go next to the creepers. There you go. Run next to your creeper bro brothers. And the creepers will blow up on them. And uh, they should be fine. Or they'll just kill the creepers before they blow up. But um, these things, like I said, they're tanky as heck. Right? Just, just tell them to charge. Also, I'm getting shot by the towers. And uh, they will attack move and kill everything until they are able to move up. And then they will shoot everything in range. These things are a real pester to deal with. Here's how you deal with these, if you are fighting them, if your opponent is using them against you. First off, you need warriors. Warriors are the hard counter to these guys. If you don't have warriors, use archers and spread them out. The archers won't kill them right away. Uh, other than that, you could try creepers and zombies, but they don't, like, zombies don't deal damage. Zombies are just there to distract them and hopefully the enemy commander isn't force attacking anything. Let's, uh, let me go get these killed real quick. I'm gonna run them to the, uh, the base here. But, essentially, I don't know if protection towers still work. Used to, on the, on the first patch of the game, you could build a protection tower. They have this kind of radius, and they would just eat the rocks that got thrown. I don't think those work. I don't think, they're not supposed to work. Also, sometimes their pathing is weird if you go into, like, these narrow little areas. Like, if you, like, path around here. Like, I can fit under that tree and over this thing, but they can't. So they might get stuck on stuff. Sometimes they'll climb over it. Sometimes they'll they'll get goofy, and uh, they'll just kind of <laughs> uh, you'll lose them. So you gotta you gotta check up on them. See, like right now they're not really following me. They're just kind of where'd they go? They're gone. They're stuck over here. <laughs> they don't know how to pass. Come on, guys. So you gotta babysit them a little bit. But um, <laughs> other than that, these guys are ab absolutely terrifying to buildings. If an enemy is building like a redstone launcher, just just have some of these on standby. If you need to farm Prism Ring late game because someone backdoored you and killed all your upgrades, you can get your upgrades back in a few minutes with these guys. Uh, 
and they're just gonna go and nuke buildings now, and there you go. So it looks like the patch didn't fix it where they prioritize buildings over units because it looks like they're all attacking buildings, so that's good. But you'll see they're, they're focusing each building one by one and wasting their rocks. That's why you don't want to just send them in. You want to do, you know, the one tap method. You know, make them all attack one separate building each. Except this one refused to follow orders. I don't know why. Very weird. But there you go. All right. And that's how to use First of Stone. That's the advanced ways to use First of Stone. That'll get you the most uh, use out of these guys. You know, they are expensive when it comes to redstone. Some maps are very rich in redstone. I found that some have no redstone at all, and those can be very miserable to play. But uh, <laughs> if you happen to have a very redstone rich map, then feel free to build a bunch of these and then go farm Prismarine, go blow open enemy walls. They're great for it. Every time they throw a boulder, it's like a free creeper. Okay? Just think of it like that. Uh, it, it's a creeper every time they toss one. <laughs> Alright, that one finally died. But, uh, you know, the, the piglin base, is it's just gone. The piglins, you know, they're taking the L right now. And uh, I'm capped on Prism Marine, so don't need it. <laughs> this is just a bot game anyway. This is not a real, I'm not playing against real player or anything. But with that said, hopefully you learned something about the first of stone. How useful they are. Also, another, just one more tip before you go. Uh, the spawner itself can act as a redstone bank. I know a lot of people may know this already, but whenever you build uh, one of these spawners, like I'm going to build one right now, boom, I just spent 400 redstone. But if I unsummon it by using the remove command, I will receive a full refund of 400 redstone. So what this means is that if you are redstone capped and there's not a lot going on right now, you can build a spawner, go out and harvest more redstone, and then if you want to build multiple cannons, that's one way to do it, right? So side. what what that would Get look like is, one. so right now I have 400 redstone, right? And then redstone cannons, as you know, are also 400, 600 stone. So what I would do is unsummon this, and then I can put down two cannons immediately, right? So I can go, I'm just going to wait to make it for dramatic effect, right? So I'm going to put down this cannon so that I have no redstone. Oh no, what am I going to do? I don't have any redstone. I need to go mine more redstone. No, I don't need to go mine more redstone because I can just put down another one as soon as I done summon. And uh, there you go. Now I can double launch redstone and then it, that's just how you do it. That's just a little secret technique for you. Now, obviously, you, will, you these would be defensive redstones. You would have to have someone on your team unsummon the spawner as you're building one. But, um, you know, you, you have to coordinate that yourself. I'm not going to talk about team tactics you in this video. Anyway, <laughs> uh, th there you go. And you can't you can't hurt your own units with a redstone launcher, you sadly. So, launcher. Uh, good That'll stuff, though. Anyway, die, units. <laughs> Look at them. They're shooting at the same time, kind of. Oh, boy. And you can't hurt yourself, either. So don't worry about getting exploded. Anyway... <laughs> That's the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. I'm Soul Bidgey. Thanks for watching. As always, be broad, stay swole. Go out and build you some First of Stone. Make sure you have healers with them, First of Oak, and Skeleton Archers, because if the enemy commander kills you, your First of Stone will just sit there and be completely open to attack. You don't want that to happen. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss the next videos, and also, on the right side of your screen, that's right, there is a video there. You should absolutely click it. If you don't click it, your smoke detector is going to start beeping.